Tommy Paul truly came of age at the Australian Open in 2023. Tommy Paul emerged as one of the breakout stars of the 2023 Australian Open. He is one of nine American players in the top 50, including Taylor Fritz, Francis Tiafo, Sebastian Corda, Jensen Brooksby, Riley Opelka, Maxime Cressy, John Isner and Brandon Nakashima. The 25-year-old, who had never previously gone past the fourth round of a tennis grand slam, made it through to the men's single semifinals at this year's Aussie Open after a dream run that included victories over seeded rivals Roberto Bautista Agut and Alejandro Davidovich Fokina. After overcoming compatriot Ben Shelton in the quarterfinals, Paul was eventually beaten by men's history maker Novak Djokovic in the semifinal, but showed enough to suggest he has the talent to remain at the top of the men's game for years to come. Paul first drew global attention when he reached the fourth round at Wimbledon 2022. He later reached the quarterfinals of his first ATP Masters 1000 at Montreal the same year, helping to achieve a career-high world ranking of 28 on the ATP Tour. But the American also had an illustrious junior career. He grew up playing on clay courts at the age of seven when he was introduced to the sport by his parents in Greenville, North Carolina. The former world number three junior won the 2015 French Open boys singles title and also reached the boys doubles final in the same tournament on the clay at Roland Garros. He wrapped up his junior career, which included wins over former world No. 8 Taylor Fritz and 2022 U.S. Open semifinalist Francis Tiafo, at the 2015 U.S. Open, where he reached the boys' singles final. Over the course of his playing career, Paul, according to the Celebrity Net Worth, is believed to be worth £675,000, $800,000. When he is not training or playing top-level tennis, Paul relishes swapping his rackets for shearing equipment. He enjoys spending time around his parents' farm in New Jersey, where he helps take care of animals, a task that has interested him since he was young. He told a TP tour, My mom and stepdad live on a farm in South Jersey, where they have roughly 100 chickens, 6 sheep, 2 dogs, a horse, and a cat. I will go home and help around the farm. They have hay barrels in the field. I am operating the tractor to move the barrels around. Anything from that, to pulling trees out of the ground. I am on it. Working around the farm is fun. Away from tennis and farming. Paul is in a high-profile relationship with social media influencer Paige Lorenz. The 25-year-old is no stranger to turning heads online and has amassed well over 400k Instagram followers. While it's unclear when Tommy and Paige started dating, they first started popping up on each other's social media accounts in October 2022. Paige, originally from Guilford, Connecticut, is a graduate of New York City's Parsons School of Design, and she has founded her own loungewear company called Dairy Boy. She is also a former professional skier. She previously made headlines for her relationship with disgraced actor Army Hammer, whom she started dating in 2020 after meeting over social media. The blonde beauty claimed that Army was fixated on biting her body, begging her to allow him to take lumps of flesh from her arm, before consuming them. She also said he asked her to have her ribs removed, so that he could barbecue them. In 2021, she told the Daily Mail that they were in a polyamorous open relationship for about five months before splitting in December of that year and she accused the actor of using a knife to carve the letter A into her groin area and licking the blood from the wound. She called their romance deeply traumatic and said it left her emotionally and physically scarred. Hammer himself told Airmail in an interview, I'm here to own my mistakes. Take accountability for the fact that I was an A asterisk 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 asterisk, that I was selfish, that I used people to make me feel better and when I was done, moved on. Quote dot. Following Page's accusations, Hammer's lawyers told the Mail, These assertions about Mr. Hammer are patently untrue. 
any interactions with this person, or any partner of his, were completely consensual in that they were fully discussed, agreed upon, and mutually participatory.